Now, the other type of timer uh, on the older models and the stoves have this type of timer on it. Again, it's a 30 minute timer. Uh, you start at 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then when you hit 0 again, you're at 30 minutes. Uh, Dave's going to go over the pins. Uh, now, this is settings for the boilers. They're a little different than the stoves. Okay, Dave. Okay, for the boilers, as you can see here, at 0 and 15, we have three pins. Okay, and what that's going to equal out to be roughly around 40 to 45 seconds. Um, each timer separate, you know, is different on how long it takes for it to click on the first pin. Um, but we found that 0 and 15 with three pins um, worked out the best for you know as far as keeping lit and not overheating um you can adjust them to uh more of a fine tune to your preference um but as far as you know with a typical boiler it's plenty it's not overdoing it it's not underdoing it so pretty much install it and forget it. you don't have to touch it um as far as the stoves we have four of these pins at zero ten and twenty and again if you really wanted to, you can fine tune it to get a, a much smaller burn at idle fire, um, which we don't recommend it on a stove because that's more meant for a um, wintertime setup. Uh, you know, as far as a boiler, you're always heating and cooling the boiler with your domestic hot water and your heat going out into your right radiation. Um, so that's why this is typically only meant for the summertime on boilers. Okay, now rotate the dial so the pins close the contact. Okay, right there, right there, he just went through the relay. Here, the pins are coming up again. They're going to hit that little metal tab, deflect it, that closes the circuit, causes the feeder to feed.